An irrigation district is facing more than a million dollars in fines after the state says it was illegally pumping water. KCRA 3's Melinda Mazer reports farmers served by the water district say cutting off their water now would be devastating. It's just a strangulation. Lucy Salvador is a cherry farmer. She says water cuts hurt. They just cut us right off at the knees. There was kind of uh, no gradual decline in water usage. Fourth generation farmer. We've been around in this area for 100 years. Farmers with senior water rights thought they were protected. But the Byron Bethany Irrigation District near Tracy is facing one and a half million dollars in fines because the state says it was taking water after it was told not to. That's the reason that family farms have been able to be is to sustain because of the property right, their water right. Byron Bethany serves three. Counties. It is one of thousands of districts that received cutoff notices from the state on June 12th, stating there was not enough water to go around. The state says the irrigation district continued pumping weeks after the notice. The Byron Bethany Irrigation District took the state to court. They say a Superior Court judge ruled that the curtailment notices are unconstitutional. The judge said the district cannot be fined without a hearing. The district now has 20 days to request that hearing with the water board. Farmers served by these water districts say they need water to survive. A lot of the local local farms aren't going to make it. You're going to have to be importing a lot more food. Um, the, the, the prices are going to go up because there's going to be less farming. In Tracy, Melinda Meza, KCRA 3 News. And the Byron Bethany Water District told KCRA 3 the state board is trying to make an example of the district out of the expense of its customers. The water district says it will vigorously defend its rights to water.